So in this series of lessons, we're going to um, do a Unity uh, tank lesson, which they have. But we're going to do it a little bit different and go a little bit slower and go through it to make sure we understand it. And I've also removed the complete game, so you can't just click on it and have it start playing from the start without doing any work. So we're going to build it, and then we can play it. So... Um, I've given you this project to download. You can see there's a lot of assets, a lot of stuff in here. So we'll be using all this to build the game. So the first thing we'll do is get rid of our directional light. Um, so when you load it, create a new scene. If it doesn't happen, file um, new scene. If a new scene doesn't come up, so, and, so your new scene will look like this. After you created it, and we're just going to delete the directional light. Okay. And then we're going to go to our prefabs folder. And we're going to bring the level art prefab up. Um, you can see if you click on these, you can see down there what they are. So we're just going to drag the level art up into the hierarchy. And now we've got this scene here. And now we want to work on our lighting panel. We want to be able to see it while we're doing it. We have the inspector up now. So we're going to go to Window, um, Lighting. And what we've done before, you can move these uh, console windows around. And we're just going to grab it and move it down there. So now we've got our inspector and our lighting panel down here. And we're going to make some changes. So... The first thing we want to do is uncheck the auto. So as we move down this screen, we're going to uncheck the auto here. So the auto was turned off. We're going to uncheck the baked GI. Again, going within the lighting panel here. We're going to set the real time resolution. to 0 0.5 and we're going to change our ambient light from skybox to color and then we're going to change these colors to uh, minus 72 I'm sorry point 72 This will be 0.62, and this will be 0.113. There we go. So that's our new colors. And then we're going to go ahead and build this. Click right there and build it. Save scene. I'll call it level one. Call yours whatever you want. Okay, now we're going to turn to our inspector panel, and we're going to click on our main camera, and we need to change the position of the camera a little bit, so we're going to go up here, minus 43, 42, and minus 35. So we're starting with the camera a little bit better if you want it. I'm going to have written instructions with this also, so you can follow along the lesson with a, a Word document or print out the instructions. And now we need to change the rotation of the camera to 40 and 60. Excellent. So now we got a little bit better view. And we're going to change the camera perspective. Um, from perspective to orthographic, an orthographic view. And then we're going to change the skybox from skybox to solid color. And our background color, we're going to make. Um, 80, 
60 and 50. Okay. And we'll save our scene. And we got a level one named. So um, I don't have to give it another name. It looks like that. Okay. Now we're going to go to our models folder. Assets. Models. And we're going to find our um, tank. Which is here. And to drag it into the hierarchy. There it is. And we're going to set the uh, layer level to players. And we're only going to have it for this object only. So the level is only going to be for this object only. There we go. So now we should be familiar with this. Now we're going to go ahead and add a rigid body. This is a 3D game. So we're going to add a rigid body. Um, not a rigid body 2D, but a rigid body. And under the constraints, which we're opening right here, we're going to um, freeze rotation for the Y axis. Rotation for the Y axis. Oh, I'm sorry, the constraints. So we're going to freeze the position for the Y axis. And the rotation on the X and Z. So that was wrong. So we're freezing the position on the Y. It's not going up or down, right? It's only going left or right. So Y, we don't need to go up or down. Um, we're going left or right, maybe the Z value in. And rotation, just the X and Z. Since we're not going up on the Y, we don't need to rotate. We're not going up. So, okay, that's what we've done so far. We're going to add a box collider. So again, we're going to go down here. We're clicked on our tank. We're going to come down, add component, box collider, and box collider, the 3D one, not 2D. And we're going to um, change the center. From zero to zero point eight five and leave that at zero. And we're going to change the size to one point five, one point seven, and one point six. Okay, so if we play it. There's our tank. All right. So with the tank still highlighted, we're going to add an audio source. So type in audio. Audio source. And we're going to change the audio clip by clicking here. Um, To engine idle. Which I believe. Let's see. Engine driving. Engine idle. This one. Okay. And we want to have it loop so it keeps doing it. So we have idle loop, okay, and then we want to add another audio source, so let's go down, audio source 2,
and we're going to uncheck the play on awake and let's see we'll go to prefabs So let's play this. We're going to go to the prefabs folder, which are here. And we're going to drag our tank from the hierarchy into the prefabs. So now we've created the prefab. And let's save our scene. Okay, so go ahead and do all that. Um, if you want to fool around with it, make sure you make a copy um, before you open up this. So right now we've just got it set. We've got our scene set, background set, and our tank in there making a little bit of sounds. So, um, and if you're going to fool around with it, you just go to your directory and... Um, and right click whenever it is I'm just gonna right click here just to have an example and uh, copy it and paste it and rename it make sure you open up that copy when you do it anyway uh, get that part of it done and um, get ready for the next lesson let me know if you have any problems